What's cracking with you people? Anansi here and welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2. In the last one, we finished up the Dark Side playthrough with Eggman's supposed victory over the heroes. And in this one, we're gonna do the last story. Let's jump to it! What's that? That vibration? Hey, wait! Someone is coming! You... You haven't given up yet? Oh, it's all over for us. What do you mean? I just received a message from my boss. The Space Colony Ark is currently approaching the Earth at an incredible velocity. It probably will impact Earth. What's that on the screen? This is a death sentence for every human being on Earth. If my calculations are correct, the Space Colony Arc will impact the Earth in 27 minutes and 53 seconds. All of you will be destroyed along with your beloved planet Earth. Getting What's worse. All this? Professor Gerald Robotnik, one of the greatest scientific minds in the world, and my grandfather. What? I knew you were behind all this. Stop it right now, or else. I'd have done this a long time ago if I had the chance. What do you mean? You're pretty persistent for a hedgehog, aren't you? still alive. <laughs> Just huh? letting Knuckles pilot the shuttle on the way over here was more dangerous than you could ever be. What is this? This is my grandfather's diary. I don't quite know what happened or what went wrong. Was it a mistake to create the ultimate life form? I thought it would be something that would benefit mankind, but then the military guards landed on the colony that day. They were sent to destroy the research project that I had been working on. My colleagues at the research facility, my granddaughter, Maria, I hope you are all safe. The colony, the colony was completely was shut down, down, probably to probably keep the prototype, keep the prototype from prototype falling into the wrong hands. Into the wrong hands. The Ark was shut down under the premise that there had been an accident. I found Maria's name among those who died when the Ark was shut down. She meant everything to me, and I couldn't bear the thought that she died because of my research. I lost everything. I had nothing more to live for. I went insane. All I could think about was to avenge her. Somehow, some way, I got scared as I no longer was able to control my thoughts. All I could think about was that I wanted it all to Based on my original projections, I was able to complete my project, Shadow. 
I designed its mind to be perfect, pure. I will leave everything to him. If you wish, release and awaken it if to the world. If you wish to fill the world with destruction, Oh, so that's why you released Shadow from the base. The core of the Eclipse Cannon is now highly reactive and explosive. This is because of the Chaos Emerald is overpowered. If the colony collides with Earth, it will shatter it in pieces like my grandfather That mad scientist! That should be you, right? We have to stop the space colony now! The space colony composition may have shifted due to the amount of energy given off by the emeralds. We have to stop the energy. But how? Hmm. That's it. There is a way to stop the energy. We have to use your emeralds. You're the one that told me that the master emerald has the power to stop the chaos emerald. That's right. If I use this, I just might be able to stop the chaos emerald. The reaction of the Chaos Emeralds is moving toward the cannon's core! It may be too late! There still may be some time left. If we pull together, we might be able to get to the shortcut that leads to the core. Let's get to work! Final stage, Cannon's Core. Get to the core of the colony. System alert. System alert. The so, as you're getting to it, this is the final rush. It looks like Joel Robotnik had one final trick up his sleeve in case he couldn't get what he wanted. And that was to have the space colony itself collide with the planet. Now, the good for this level is that these little switches right here, whenever you hit them, it stops time. That means that anything besides doors will cease to will, will cease to move and it'll give you some extra time to get to where you need to go. Or in certain cases help you solve puzzles that you couldn't otherwise solve um, at a relative speed. Now you may have noticed that with this last story comes some additions to the cast. For instance, Tails is rocking a brand new cannon. It's, uh, I will be showing off how to get the rest of these upgrades. Oh, see, like right here? You need this laser to stop these, um, need that time stop to stop the laser from going. But, uh, but back to the back previous thought. I will be showing off how to get the rest of the upgrades in a bonus video coming out after this one. So, uh, look forward to that. In the meantime, uh, let's get here. Okay, let's get back to it, shall we? Well, up. Died. Mm. So that, but that one. Usually, how this works is that. Oh, and one more thing. There aren't any checkpoints with regards to this. So I will be cutting back to that particular part and showing what's what. Yeah, it's literally right here. So when um when that final part comes around, you will see in the bonus episodes on how to get the extra upgrades. Should help you for your completionists out there. And yeah, so. Oh, come on, all right? Heck. So. And there we go. So yeah, um, one thing to note about this particular level is that there are no checkpoints. Wherever you die, you get sent right back to the beginning of the section that you are currently in. And you may be wondering, well what does that mean? Well if you pay very close attention to the opening of the game, you may have noticed that, or the opening of the, um, if you pay attention to the opening of the level you may notice that the level is outlined in blue representing representing Sonic's color well every other time in the game a color corresponds to a character we're playing as Tails and his, and his level should be yellow it's not it's blue that's because this entire last story as opposed to Sonic Adventure 1's final story where you play as Sonic what you do is you play as every single character in the game this is where this is where the upgrades and whatnot really come into come into play because as you can see, uh, Eggman also has his version of of 
uh, of uh, Tails is cannon. What it does is it creates. It actually works in, in a similar fashion to how um, Gamma's upgrade and eventual one works, in the sense that um, in the sense that it creates a bigger explosion radius. Doesn't do more damage. It just spreads it out. So keep that in mind. Wait for it. There we go. So keep that in mind whenever you're when, when, um, whenever you go for these for these um these upgrades. Some of them you don't really need. It's just there for completionist sakes. Other ones do help with regards to repeat playthroughs, such as the Mystic Melody that we got with Shadow. Which I will be explaining more about those uh, as the um bonus video comes around. But yeah, we're um we're down to the final bat. Now we're up to stage two, which is Robotnik's um. You know, what does he have to do? Up, up, up. Okay, um. Hmm. Yeah, uh. I'll admit that last bit can be tricky, so we'll be cutting, and we're back. So, now we're gonna keep on going up and get to here. So, yeah, so it. With the um oh one more thing to note about the time stoppers if you if you're having trouble with the uh, with the um false chaos monsters I recommend using the using the time stopper if you if you can remember where it is and ah, I messed that up okay well and I recommend using the false using the um, time stopper to make it where they don't move because even if they're retracted in their invulnerable state if you stop time you can actually hurt them yeah. The time stop actually makes them all invulnerable. There we go. <sighs> Myself. See? You can kill them. It still bounces off like they're invulnerable. But you can But don't worry, you can still damage them. Time platforming. Okay, now how are you supposed to that's right, you're supposed to Like that, and there you go. And now Eggman blows open the door. And how this post and how this na how this narrative works is that every character is opening up a way for every other character behind them to go further in. Because as Eggman uh, stated, if you uh, as Eggman stated, the um you know, this one we have to un we have to unlock that centerpiece right there. Well, that involves a little bit of clever maneuvering, which requires you to do this. Do this and do this, but um, yeah, the um, the eclipse cannon is now on a glitching course to the, with the planet, and apparently the chaos energy inside of it that was charging it up is causing some kind of cascade effect, which means that if it hits something, it means that if it hits the, I believe I'm supposed to do. No, not there, not there, wrong way. Okay, so, yeah, you gotta climb up here. Uh, yeah, back to what I was saying. It will... It will... Re if it impacts the Earth, all the chaos energy restored inside of it will be enough to completely shatter the planet. How that works, I have no idea, and I don't want to know the logistics behind that. Matt Pat, you put that theory down. And... Um... Let's see what the world, what the world looking for here. And... Yeah, put stop time here to go through this little bit right here. And this should be some dangerous room right here. Now, there should be another time stop around here, because you need it to get through there. Where is it? 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 Is it... No, it's not up here. Yeah, okay, there it is. Wait for it, wait for it, and... Nope. Click. There you go. We're going to here. Going to here. There you go. And I'll have to put, you have to go over here. Make you invincible. Let me do this right here. Might as well go ahead and clear the nuisance that way again. But yeah, so um, and Gerald was not ha and Gerald did that because he was not happy that Maria. His granddaughter died. Yeah. 
And that's Rouge's, Rouge's end. I think that's... No, 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 we gotta keep going. My bad. Um, I jumped the gun on that one. And then on this one, you don't really need... The time stop for you just gotta run through here. Camera went crazy there, but I caught it! Um, gotta, gotta jump on this, and... Up we go! But yeah, uh, so when when the military killed Maria... Oh. Okay, so you are gonna need the uh, time stop for that. I guess it's because waterfalls fall at such a rate that it makes it really difficult to actually pass through one. <laughs> and now we hit the button and drain the water! Yeah, because of Maria's death, Joe went insane and devised a plan that was a kind of, was kind of a catch-22. It's well, it, it's if you want ultimate power, awaken his project, and it will give you the power to blow up the planet. You'd have to be equally as insane as Gerald to want to do so. Now, here's how this works: we have to open up this door. Knuckles and Rouge's whole gimmick was trying to get this door open because they don't have blasters and because the, uh, the egg walker and the and the and the tornado can't actually go through here without some serious damage or about some difficulty. Rouge and Knuckles were assigned to open up that door the old-fashioned way, which is hit a switch and have it open up. Now, remember how I said earlier that while Knuckles' is, while Knuckles' air necklace is indeed an optional um, power-up you can get, it's technically still mandatory. This is the level I meant when I said that. Now, see, now then, uh, yeah, so. because, and as you can see, you can pretty much see why that's the case. Knuckles' level involves him is entirely underwater. They took the character whose gimmick is best known for flight, best known for gliding. He's the oh oh oh, 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 oh. that would have been very very bad. Um, okay, so maybe not through here, but there's a way for us to, to go. I'll, I'll find it in a second here. Don't worry. Um, but with regards to with regards to um this level, yeah, they took the, they took the character who. Who made who make gliding a thing to begin with? Okay, this does work. Okay, I'm going to take care of you. Okay, see, that was my bad. I was over. I was overthinking that. Get to go down here. Hit this button. Go back up. Get through here and punch. And there you go. But um, yeah, they took a character whose primary gimmick was his ability to glide in his original introduction, and gave his exclusive level him swimming. There's nobody else see anything wrong with this. But yeah, as you can see, you need to you need to navigate your way through this entire thing on one thing of breath. You have air bubbles here to replenish your replenish your um to replenish yourself with but oh right. Okay, damn it. My bad, I forgot. Okay, so that opened that up. Now there should be it. There it is. Um, but as a result of the mechanic that going through some of these tunnels, the water is flowing back and will knock you back out of it. You have to be very precise, and you can't afford to waste a single second, or else you will just barely get to the end, and that's it for you. So you have to be on it. You have to be like really on it in order to get there, you know? Um, and as a result, if it's your first time going through this level, you probably will die a lot just by virtue of the um, water mechanic itself. Because like every other Sonic game, characters can't hold their breath infinitely uh, underwater. I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna this. And this tunnel here also does that. Now they do place air bubbles in the level for you to use. Ah, couldn't get to it in time. This is, this is the hard part level. This is the hard part level because you have to hit. You have to. You have to hit this switch. Get through to the bend. Hit the switch again. 
to get yourself a way around this. There you go. And get to this end right here, which I believe is the switch. But, like I said, because you need all this, you need so much air and be so, so precise, this can be the hardest level in the game for a new game. So fighting the air necklace makes this level infinitely more easy to get through. Infinitely.